late 1958, newspaper ads said that the blob crawls, creeps, and eats you alive. The film's director, Irving S. Yeaworth Jr., took some gelatinous, silicone-based goo mixed with vegetable dye and created a fright film that engulfed everything it touched. One such place devoured was the Mayfair Theater on 47th Street and Broadway, where I originally saw the movie. Other scared participants were Olin Howland, Steve McQueen, Annetta Corsat, Stephen Chase, Lee Payton, Earl Rowe, and John Benson. What could have made so many moviegoers scream and run for their lives? Help me reminisce with the paralyzing fear of the blob 1958. Number 10. He should have left it alone. Number nine. I wasn't trained for this. How are we going to help you if you don't let us see it? Number eight. Where is he? Nurse, what do you mean? this is your responsibility. <laughs> Kate, stand still. Don't move. Must have absorbed the old man completely. Oh, doctor, I'm afraid. Try to stay as far away from it as you can. <laughs> Kate, be calm. Now do as I say. Don't go. Don't leave me. Come back. <laughs> Hey. Number seven. No more window peeping for me. Number six. Hand me a small hammer. Number five, clean up on aisle five. <laughs> Number four, I'm still hysterical. <laughs> Number three, there's something clogged in the vents. <laughs> Number two, projectionist who looks like the film director. Number one, terrified patrons run from the theater. It's the most horrible thing I've ever seen in my life. Wait a minute, how scared are these people, really? I hope the blob doesn't eat, I mean, keep you up at night. Thanks for watching. 
Don't forget to give a like and subscribe to my channel and check out my many other endless perceptions.